All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be taking out an aircraft carrier again today. Um, it's been a while since I put up my first aircraft carrier video. All right, so let's see. The first order of business is set a, a waypoint a little bit out so that all groups will launch efficiently as fast as possible. Now, seeing as how where everyone's moving, we're going to move our carrier over there at about half speed. So you can see that I have one fighter group, one torpedo bomber group, and one dive bomber group. So that's kind of cool with regards to the fact that these are the three classes of carrier-based aircraft that are in the game right now. There are some scout float planes, but you don't manually control those, and those are launched um, from, you know, see here's one right here. He's probably from one of these battleships, or cruisers are usually the ones that get them. So, we're with tier 5 and tier 6s, so the uh, next carrier is the tier 6 Saipan. Um, now, we still have biplane-based carrier aircraft. You know, they're all biplanes. The dive bombers, the torpedo bombers, and the fighters are all biplanes. Now, I think... Let's take a look, actually. Are these monoplanes? Are these... They, they do look like monoplanes. Yeah. So it looks like the Saipan from tier 6 is where you go from biplane. Okay, we got an incoming fighter group now. Is that monoplane? Yeah, those are monoplanes. See, I don't want to I don't really want to fight them if I don't have to. Because um they're superior. They'll they'll kill my fighters one on one. One on one they are in fact the better. You know, I mean tier 6, but so here we go. We've got a little a little fighter engagement, kind of like they're flirting around right now, seeing what's up. If they engage, I'll send in my fighters. And it looks like we've got... Now, are these... These are biplane-based fighters. These I would probably be able to handle. Now, if he rushes in... Yeah, so I baited him in, in a way. Or he just kind of ran in there. Now we're, we're fighting it out. Looks like I've got the initial advantage right there. And I've got friendly fighters. So at this point, we've got torpedo bombers coming in. I still got my bombers kind of waiting for an opportune moment. I don't want them to get wiped out. Alright, so he's going to pull his back. Let's see. It's kind of a standoff right now because I'm not the superior carrier, so I don't have the superior aircraft. His fighters are going in, chasing his away. I could do a dive bomb. Let's see, what do we got? Two Fusos and a Phoenix. These are definitely ships that I would want to deal with. Alright, and so, one thing I need to get better at is realizing how things are playing out. And it looks like these ships will likely clear through this right side, so I want to be further on the left side of the map. So I'm going to send my carrier that way. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Or one of the easiest mistakes to make, rather. Alright, so it's got a lot of... Let's see, what is this? One Fuso. This Fuso needs some assistance. So I'm going to send my dive bombers here. And I want to go down the length of the ship, and then I'm going to send my torpedo bombers. And I'm going to send my fighters also in to kind of fly overwatch for this group. Plus, if the fighters start taking some of the flak, I'm alright with that. Now, the good thing about this torpedo attack is... Okay, good. We set, we set that guy on fire, which is pretty good. Alright, so everyone's dumped. He's gonna start maneuvering. I might get... It's gonna be difficult to get hits, actually. Alright, so we've got these guys coming in. Maybe I can intercept them on their way back with my fighter group. Okay, we got one torpedo hit. Looks like we're gonna get two torpedo hits on the Fuso. But also keep in mind that I forced him... He's only got... The Fuso is an amazing battleship because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six turrets. Now, at this at this spot, he can only put two to bear on my friendly Fuso. He doesn't have his broadside. This other Fuso had to deviate. So, it looks like I was 
paying attention to kind of what was going on there. Now, we've got plenty of ammunition, so I'm just going to kind of fly around here. See where my dive bombers and my torpedo bombers are. A lot of people, like this is kind of like artillery mode, but I've noticed that everything has a lot more character to it um, in World of Warships. Goodness, Mr. Cruiser, you can't do that. 65 health. That guy is boned. Oh, and these guys collided. This Aoba Japanese cruiser. It's it's tier 6. It's kind of like the Cleveland, but less guns, and it's also got torpedoes. This Fuso's running. He's going to run right into a Phoenix who's launching torpedoes. How perfect is this? Another cool thing about playing carrier is you get to see this kind of stuff. So as long as I keep an eye on the minimap, we got some fighters coming in here. Are they monoplane? No, they are not. So, I'm going to pull them over here. And I'm going to go back to seeing... I think that guy just got rocked. He just got hit by torpedoes, maybe. Or shot. Either way. And this Fuso is running. I'd say that we kind of helped to turn the tide of battle. Right there. So what do we got over here? What's going on? He's just kind of flying Overwatch. Those are the biplane based fighters. We've got a Fuso and, or a Mayogi and an Aoba breaking through, so now I actually want to go the other way. So we're going to send... Alright. Alright, so now we're going to launch. Going to launch the torpedoes and launch the dive bombers, get them in the air. And these fighters are kind of flying Overwatch here. Oh, we've got... This Aoba is going to be the one... That's going to be the biggest threat. Because he's breaking through. It's just funny how the battle, you know, even the best laid plans. Hopefully these torpedoes. I mean, he's a cruiser. He should be able to avoid that. Now, where'd those fighters go? Did they run? We're under attack. Who's under attack? Oh, yeah, I'm under attack by flak. I can try to s kill the scout plane. Yeah, that's a cruiser. Oh, man, we, got, we might have a hit right here. Beautiful. Maybe two. Yes, two hits. That's perfect. So I'm going to pull off. These guys are basically just escorting. Alright, so the torpedo bombers are in the air. I'm going to go straight for maybe that Aoba. Oh, here we go. Actually, I'm going to come in from behind them. Since they're already moving that way, I want to get like... Oh, man. He's going to be able to dodge it. Now, it's difficult. I'm not really sure. Dive bombers, I think, are one of the least effective. But hopefully I can be proven wrong right here. Yeah, see? All those bombs, nothing happened. Now, we, we've got to protect ourselves, so I'm going to dump some torps. No, 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 no. Oh, man, I hate when they do that. It's just... It's just a bad, bad launch. Did they launch? No, they did. Yeah, they did. Dang, that sucks. All right, let's see where the fighters are. Who do we want to intercept? Pull them back. I might get one torp hit, which was rather just lucky because you got to really, you know, keep into account, keep a, like, a sharp eye on where your torpedo bombers are going in. You can use manual controls, and it's kind of difficult. But if you look at the battle, it's pretty tight, but we have two cap points. Now, there is one battleship here. And it is a Miyogi going into the cap fire. Oh, here we go. Let's engage. Are these the monos? No, they're biplanes. And they don't seem to be attracted. Plus, I've got friendly fighters coming in. So, we got one plane shot down. Gonna probably get two or three more before this is up. Oh, what the tit? Well, I don't know what's happening. We're gonna have to reverse their... We got some kind of... I was like, where are my fighters? Where is everyone going? Alright, so the dive bombers are up. There's nothing... I guess this guy. We could hopefully finish him off. I don't know what the tits is happening with my... We can't really take manual control over it, but we're reversing now. 
We're gonna need this guy to finish off this carrier, or this cruiser rather. Oh look at that, and you do if you alt, it looks like the circle's a little but I don't know how to rotate it. So alt is kind of direct control. Now I'm gonna keep adjusting it until they get here. We're under attack. Cause I want this kill, man. Victory is in sight. Approaching target. Please, please, please. One target hit. Autopilot mode enabled. Damn. This is not good. Alright, so they're hitting us now, this cruiser. Who's on what? This is gonna have to be it, man. It's gonna have to be these torpedo bombers that saved me. But this guy has proven to be not the best at avoiding torpedo fire in the past. So can we pull it out? Hopefully, we are under attack. with these torpedo bombs. Oh, adjust. We gotta adjust last minute. Oh shoot, they're under fire, so they're, they're range. Engaging enemy. Now he's moving. Oh, look at that, see there's a little bunch. Now, if I can hit with this one, wait, we won, we won. Man, survived the carrier, or the cruiser rush, rather. Did a decent amount, not a whole lot of planes shot down. In the game previous to this, I shot down 12 planes, but it really wasn't worth a whole lot of points. So how do we do on our team? You know, upper half, not too bad for being the under-tiered aircraft carrier. All right, so here's the American Tech Tree. I started out with the Langley, you saw a video of that. It was basically kind of like a brief how-to on how to carry her, right? And all we had were fighters and uh, torpedo bombers available. And there's different modifications, right? So at stock, you have one fighter and one torpedo bomber. Then you could go from two fighters and one torpedo bomber or two torpedo bombers and one fighter, depending on if you want to go for a more of a defensive, you know, kind of air superiority role or if you want to really deal with capital ships and use... Um, your fighters basically so then let's take a look then we have the independence the next class is the Saipan right and you've got dive bombers and then you've got TBD devastators finally these should be pretty awesome and then Brewster F2A Buffalo so it's not tier till tier 6 that you really get to kinda see some good monoplanes you start out with the Grumman F3Fs and I'm pretty sure that they are I think is this it? I think it might be. I think this is the Saipan right here. But regardless. Um, and then you got the different modifications. You get one of each. One fighter, one torp bomber, and one dive bomber. Then you can go to two fighters and one dive bomber. Or one fighter, two torpedo bombers, and one dive bomber. Wow. That is a pretty significant. Finally getting at tier 6 you go from 3 to 4 different air groups. And that's got to be pretty awesome. Now let's look at the top of the tree. So you go from Independence, Saipan, Ranger, the Lexington, and finally the Tier 10 Essex. So let's take a look at the modules here. You've got SB-2C Hell Diver dive bombers. You've got the Douglas 82 Sky Raider torpedo bombers. And you've got F-8F Bearcats up from Corsairs. And then you've got TBF Avengers here. So let's see how many different air groups this thing can take out. It's got a 1945 modification. Look at the anti-aircraft gun upgrade right there. That green bar shows the difference. Your, sci your survivability goes up. Your aircraft go up just by two. But your anti-aircraft... Oh my gosh. So if you're getting attacked by planes, you know, or any of your planes are getting, like, followed by fighters, take them in home, and these things should just light up almost all the planes out there. Um, but alright, so stock, you've got four fighter groups. One fighter, two torps, and one dive bomber. Then you go up to five. Oh god, does this get up to six? It gets up to five. It stays at five. Alright, so the most fighter groups you see, at least at this point in CBT. So you got two fighters, two torps, one bomber. Or you could go four fighters and one bomber if you really wanted to go air spirit. Can you imagine four groups of F-8F Bearcats flying around? Holy crap. And then finally, two torpedo bombers and three bombers. Three dive bombers. If you 
really wanted to lay down the paint on some enemy ships. So that should be just absolutely ridiculous to see a tier 10 Essex. And look how beautiful this thing is. Just look at that. We don't have it quite yet. But look how big this bad boy is. Where are the Corsairs? There they are. There's the Corsairs. Look how sexy those things look. But man... You can imagine how, if carrier gameplay is your style, it's going to be great. Now, as for the Japanese, they don't have um, carriers yet, but this is CBT. I would imagine on game launch that the Americans are going to have battleships, and the Japanese are also going to have um, also going to have aircraft carriers. And you know, then there's the I think it was the Shinano, which was basically a Yamato battleship hull, and they convert it to like. The biggest aircraft carrier, I think, during World War II. Kitakami. I want to see this because I'm pretty sure it has a retarded amount of torpedoes. Six, 10 kilometers, 62 knot speed. Look at this. This is a premium. This is the premium Kitakami. One, two, three, four, five. It's got 20 torpedoes on each side. Oh my god. God, I just had to put that out there because you know me. I love me some torpedoes I would buy this thing in a heartbeat Just to just unleash torpedo hell because the torpedoes are excellent 10 kilometer range and 62 knot speed Those things and you can just basically cover the uh, Significant area with torpedoes, but you know what? That's not why we're here. We just got to see I wanted to show off aircraft carrier gameplay uh, It looks like I just could I could upgrade so let's see, what do you think we should do guys? Should I go from two fighters and one dive bomber or should I upgrade my torpedo bombers? I'm gonna upgrade the torpedo bombers. That's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do that later. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. I thank y'all for watching another episode of World of Warships, this time with some more in-depth carrier-based gameplay. It's kind of RTS style, it takes a lot of forward planning. And even when I thought I was doing the right things, it's easy to mix up your fighter groups or your, your groups to where you run your carrier into the far side of the map and you get chased down by a cruiser. But you know what? You just got to thank your friends for kind of winning the battle before you got wrecked and embarrassed because you couldn't sail your carrier because you're really focusing on getting those torpedo bombers to kill that last cruiser. So let me know what you'd like to see next. I thank you all for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button. Share the video with a friend. And let me know what I should sail next, and I'll see you guys soon.